Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I messed that up again. I always do it. Uh, welcome back to Final Fantasy III. Uh, this is Magic Life, and we are going to enter the Cave of Time. I am under level. I want to be around level 25 by the time I get to the boss. So I'm going to go through the dungeon, and when I get to the point where I need to start leveling up, I'll go ahead and go off camera, and we'll continue forward. Um... There's a lot of new bad guys in here. Um, they're all weak to thunder, with the exception of the twin hits. None of them are dangerous, none of them are great. Alright, so first things first, we're gonna fight. I thought we were gonna get to the door. I was incorrect. So, these are three ropers. You hit, you hit them with your rain. Alright, let's see if we can get kill them all. So I realize Refia has 45 life, but... Um, Luna will protect him, her. And occasionally Arya will cast Kira, which is really important. This is actually a really good dungeon to grind in for that reason. Um, especially if you have a, a knight, they will protect your characters in yellow and red. And every once in a while, Ariel will give you free cures, which is always a win. Uh, the boss with this area is pretty difficult. Um, I didn't struggle as much because I, if you're level 25, you won't struggle that much. So you're going to go forward here. This is the sealed portal. It was created to keep outside of the way from the water crystals. Only priestesses of the temple may pass through. Arya kneels down and begins to pray. Front door unlocked. Front door open. We may pass now. Yeah, we can see the door's gone. <coughs> if you hear any noise in the background, my fiance is down here, um, and Charlie is down here with us. Um, so, you know, they're part of the... <laughs> we just she just got Dunkin Donuts and apparently they're all heart shaped. I don't know if you heard her or not, but it was very adorable the way she realized that. What do we got? All right, so we got another Roper and now we have a Twin Head. None of these bad guys in this dungeon are t are really that dangerous per se. I mean, they can beat you up a little bit. I would really love for Aria to come in here and cure us. He's dead. Um, so earlier on you saw him uh, riff, yeah, do the water thing. Um, that can actually wipe out an entire enemy party without touching him. So it doesn't do it often, usually to just take one or two out. All right, continue in four. Oh, come on, we need levels, we need levels. Okay, moving forward. Okay, da 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 da. That was a twin head and roper again. Um, simple fight. I'm not using any magic. I try to save the magic for the bosses. Oh yeah, there's a big difference. In... She would show me the difference in our copies. I'm not a copy reader, but my copy is twice the size of her copy. You got a way bigger copy than You can also spam light staff in here because light um, automatically uses. I'll show you instead of telling you. How about I just show you? I forgot about that. Ah, cool. I'll show you. I'll show you here because we got a different fight. So we have a poison toad, and yes, the name tells you what they can do. So we're gonna do terrain. Now for here, go to items. We're looking for the light. Do I not have a light set? Did I forget to buy the light set? I forgot to buy the light set. So light stab, if you use it, actually casts a thunder. It might actually cast Thundara, but I'm not sure. Oh well. 
I went too far. So we're just gonna attack. Cause I didn't grab one. Well, we might be a little in trouble. Boy, it would really be nice if our third party member, or our fifth party member, would, you know, cast, uh, uh, I don't know, Kira. I'm hoping she does the dark one so you guys can see it, because that is the most dangerous thing she does. She doesn't do it very often, but it jelly does between 1,500 and 2,000 damage each time it hits. Great. It's going to throw my levels off. So now we got someone at level 21, so that's a plus. Okay. okay item. We are running out of Phoenix Downs again. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Um, okay. Alright, these are my least favorite bad guys in there because they can cast them. They're not very strong, but they can petrify us. Boy, it would be really nice if Aria would give us Kira! I'm about to use ice potions, I'm trying not to waste my potions. But, at this point, I may not have enough. So that fifth party member is not really doing her job. By the door. I mean, I wish we had a backyard where you could just sit out there and... Alright, there's two of us at level 21. Okay, so we're gonna pass the first bridge. Come to the second bridge. This is the hardest uh, room in this dungeon because of that. Mr. Charlie over here decided he wanted to go outside whether or not we opened the door. He was trying to turn the round doorknobs. He was over there we were watching him try to do it. It's hilarious. Okay. Uh, so this, this is a pretty linear room. If you go up here, you'll find something extra. And it wasn't the fight I'm talking about. That was a rope. Oh, so the last fight, I didn't tell you what it was. It was a poison toad and a um, twin head. This was a rope burn twin hit, and they didn't get any attacks off. So, okay. So everyone is level 21 now. Um, we only have four more levels to go. Yay! Anyway, moving forward. Really? Alright, that was a rope and another twin hit. Um, as you see, they knocked out one of my characters. Apparently, uh, I sound like Eeyore. Um, this, this is what my fiance just let me know. <coughs> I'm okay with that. Eeyore is awesome. Oh, what's right? Makeup break. Yeah, so we're gonna... Don't break your ankle on anything. Um, she almost broke her ankle. She almost stepped on one of them. Our puppy has a ball pit. And she stepped on one of the balls that came out of the ball pit. Because he dives in there and they go fly. Um, that was a roper and a twin head. Um, Refi is starting to kill me with her whirlpool. It's not working that ver that well in this dungeon today. Okay, so we came all the way for Blizzaga, which I think actually does a lot of damage in this fight, if I'm correct. Yeah, it, it's okay. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and go to magic. And since 
Oh, I've screwed myself. Oh, I'm going to pay for this. Oh, yuck. I didn't sleep in a... I didn't sleep in an inn before I came here, so my, my red mage has no magic. Anyway, um, so these are, I can't say that, I'm glad we have it, uh, whatever. I'm just going to call them the ugly crabs. So yeah, I didn't, um, I didn't rest my character, so there's no, um, my, my red mage has no magic. This could be a problem, uh, for the boss. Charlie, slow down. Um, crap. I have an idea. I have an idea. I might do that. <laughs> As you see, those things aren't that dangerous. Okay. Well, we're doing all right here. Now we gotta go back. All right, that was two more of those ugly crabs. Um. Gosh, um, I'm down to two Phoenix Downs. This is starting to get a little ugly. Aria is not doing anything. She's not healing. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give some high potions. No, wait. <coughs> I got potions. We don't want to waste high potions. Now watch. Now that I've completely healed my character, you know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna get into the first fight, and she's gonna do Kiro. You know, if, if you're a gamer, you know it's that's exactly. All right, that was another set of twin heads and Roper. Um, cool. So um, I'm gonna be right back. I gotta go gra grab some stuff because I messed up coming into this dungeon unprepared. That's obviously my fault. You guys aren't playing, so it can't be your fault. I'm gonna do all that off camera, and I'll be. I'm gonna return my character right back here, and I'll tell you what I've done, and uh, we'll continue forward from there. See you in a minute. What's triggering? You saying going live? I feel like yeah. So I don't know how to stop the puppy from barking. Uh, every time I say going live, he decides that it's going to be barking. Like he knows he's ruining my video. Um, I don't have anything for him to chase, so I can't even distract him. <coughs> so uh, I went back and I did a couple things. I hit the wrong button. So you get to see this. I can see why the crystals chose you. I can feel the light within you, strong yet gentle. Anyway. So, um, I went and picked up... If I can hit the right button, we're, we're going to be alright. Oh my, I have forgotten how to push buttons. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Ooh, strong boy. So I think here, but now we got our magic back, which is important because boy, that was silly. Um, and I picked up a light staff, which will help. So we're going to continue forward. Uh, all, all the characters are level 22 now, so we're going to keep going forward. Um, I'm going to try to grind, but I'm running on the schedule. I've got not much. I mean, i got an hour, technically, but he was part of it. Okay, so that was a Roper and a Twin, and I'm apologizing now for Charlie barking. We he's he's barking at her at, at my fiance now, which is kind of unique. That doesn't happen often. In them. All right, that was another Twin Head and Roper. Um, you're gonna hear me mention. Um, I we found I found out they have a TNA or Impact uh, channel, and I've been showing my fiance for a while. Um, We've been going through wrestling because she's, you know, she's from the South, but she's never really been into wrestling. Um, she's getting into wrestling, which is kind of awesome. Um, but we haven't watched the Impact. We watched old WWE, WCW, ECW when it was Eastern Championship Wrestling. Um, Uh, 
All right, that was another twin hit. All right, that was two of those uh, cockatrices that look like lizards instead of birds. Um, I think I'm down to my last phoenix down. So there is a possibility that I'm going to beat this guy for you guys, and then I'm going to go back and redo it because uh, that's a lot of phoenix downs I've gone through. Um, honestly, way too many. That was a waste of time. Alright, that was a rope for the twin head, sorry. Um, I think I'm going to stop right here. No, I'm not going to stop, but I'm going to go ahead pause it. Because um, I'm going to show you the boss fight. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and level up. Um, like I said, I hit the wrong button. I want to get everyone up to level 25. So I will be right back. Okay, so um, because of time restraints, I'm not going to be able to grind up to level 25. Um, didn't really grind up much of anything here, so... Um, we're gonna move forward, and I'm gonna try to fight the boss, and if I lose, we end it. If I win, I end it. So, we'll see how this goes. Let's move forward. Alright, before we move forward, let's go ahead and make sure everyone's got a fly by. Um, yeah. As you're looking at my character, some of them are actually weaker than when I first started here. Yeah because I didn't save correctly. Not having a great day with my uh, leveling up on the day. It's been a struggle. But kind of got to figure it out. It'll be alright. Because I have a save later on in the game that's better than this, so I can, once I catch up to there, we can. I'm going to switch to that file. Um, so, Crystal of Water, it is time for you to regain your light. Aria begins to pray, holding the shard out towards the crystal. And Arya has been worthless for the full fight. Look, the crystal is regaining its light. It's reflecting. It's pretty. It is now your turn. You must merge the light within you with the one within the water crystal. Only then will the crystal regain its true light and banish the darkness from this world. Then time will flow once more. Look out! <coughs> Slow mo fall. <laughs> Aria, no! And all that. It seems luck is on your side today, warriors of the light. I am Kraken, tasked by Lord Zande to steal the light from the crystal water, and you. You were all about to die. Anger face, here we go. <laughs> Alright, so this is Kraken. He has 8,000 life. Um, you want to use magic. I think he looks silly. His, his actual, he looks pretty cool except for his head. His head looks ridiculous. Alright, so do not use physical. Um, I actually picked up something I've never had before. Heavenly Wrath. So let's see what that does to him. Uh, while we're doing this, we're going to hit him with Zeus's Wrath. Terrain. Always hit him with Terrain. And now that I have magic, I hit him with Blazaga, which is, our, is the strongest magic here. So let's see how much damage we do. Zeus's Wrath does how much? 690, so let's say 700. Whirlpool's going to do nothing. It's a little bit of the problem doing Terrain. He attacks twice. Heavenly Wrath, so we're doing 700, so that was pretty. I did 1200, so that's almost 2000 over the 8000 that's left. Lazaga will probably do 800? 900, so we're doing pretty good. Um, however, I think we're out of those magics. So we're going to attack. Attack. Use terrain, hopefully, he'll do something other than the Whirlpool, because the Whirlpool does nothing. Um, Actually, I'm going to back up a little bit. Because your knight can do cure, which we're going to go ahead and cure you. You're going to attack. You're going to use terrain, and you're going to use Blazaga. Okay, so that's 400. 
Alright, this this one's not gonna really matter. If we're using magic, you don't really miss with magic. He missed anyway, so that was cool. I'm really starting to get tired of Refia because she's doing Whirlpool, which cannot hit this boss. I need you to do an actual magic roll. Like, actually use magic, please. Ice, whatever, just do something. So, yeah, he's probably close to half-life now, so that's pretty cool. Um, we're gonna do magic again. No, we're not. We're gonna do high potion. Um... We're gonna do another high potion to you. Please don't do Whirlpool. Hit him with his weakness. He's weak to Thundara. We just gotta outlast him here. Uh, you recommended level 25. Oh my god. Whirlpool again. At this point, uh, we're completely wasting a turn. Okay. <coughs> okay. Alright, so we're probably under Half-Life, so he's probably got less than 4,000 now. Um... High potion for you. And I need under another. Is it Thunder that you need to? Okay. A little annoyed with Refia because she, she can do some good damage, but she's not. She's gonna die. Please don't kill him. So we need to do a... My last Phoenix down. Attack. And another thing that's unknown. Now we're in trouble. Now, now we're really in trouble here. Because uh, I don't have a Phoenix down, so Arc is <coughs> dead. Arc stays dead. The good news is my other character, um, the one that I got past this, oh, read, read things that. I don't want it. You won what? Okay. Awesome. Um, we're gonna use high potion for you. You're gonna hit with. Well, we don't have any of that, so we're gonna hit you with Gnome of Thunder now. No, oh, that's probably the. F uh. get a game over but that's okay we did it pretty good and I think we almost beat him um, so next time I'll show you how to beat him I'll have leveled up to 25 and we'll beat him and I'll do it I'll do the next area and then yeah so that's the end of this video um, so until next time adios amigo I wish we would have won I feel like we were close